even while some of the markets around the state are cold, Lansing is going through a growth. My name is David Vanderklok. I am one of the owners and a principal architect here at Studio Intrigue Architects. You know what the great thing is about renovation and moving into a loft space? Is the imperfect is actually perfect. And we have to tell people that too. And on 03, 03, 03, we open up the doors on a, a new firm. As architects, where we think about the artistic perspective and what we're doing for a community, it's been very rewarding, especially what we've been able to do right here in our own hometown of Lansing. Studio Intrigue and Dave uh, Vanderklok have been incredible partners with the many of the projects that are being developed in downtown Lansing. This is a building that had been sitting here. The retail space was actually active on this, but the loft set empty or the upper levels for quite some time. What makes the greatest sense in an urban core is going in there and doing live work buildings where you've got commercial on the first floor and you have living units above. This is actually a for sale condo loft unit where a lot of them are for rent. We've kind of pushed to the point where people are, oh, you know, I want to actually own something downtown. Studio Intrigue has positioned itself well, both from a technical expertise, how to rehab building costs, brownfield programs, but also they have that genuine passion. They believe, they understand the market, and they've entrenched themselves uh, with these new entrepreneurs downtown. Uh, we came from years and years of going out to suburban sites, finding a nice green plot of land, and essentially doing whatever we wanted to. We could do medical office, we could do retail, we could do professional office. The economy was so good, late 90s, that what you could do is uh, build things on spec again and again and again and again. As soon as everything was shaken up, everybody abandoned that method of thinking. And I think there was a there's a big advantage to it and something that we, we started noticing. Maybe people weren't willing to shell out the kind of dollars they were to build a building you know, ground up with millions and millions of dollars, but they started looking back towards the urban core. All of a sudden it was funny where maybe we were working with people that were maybe 20 years older than us. All of a sudden you had some people that were our age, Generation Xers, that were like, look, okay, we understand, you know, those guys are riding out their investments out in Okemos or Delta Township, but there's this real cool building downtown. This is the uh, Rainy Building, 208 South Washington. This project, uh, the red sandstone you see now, was designed and installed to replicate what was there before, to basically revitalize the facade of this structure. You know, people are saying alive after five, you know, Lansing's achieved that now. And now, people from the surrounding areas see Lansing as a viable entertainment option. Where before they might run down the street to a restaurant that they go to every Friday night, it's like, hmm, you know, what are we gonna do? Why don't we go down to Lansing? I can't tell you how fantastic it's been. It was one big leap for us to actually start the practice, very spooky. But let's face it, it was another, it was another big leap to, for us to depart from what we knew and to really grasp with both hands the whole concept of urban redevelopment. Uh, for us to be accepted the way we have by business owners, city officials, and you know the movers and shakers of Lansing alike, I can't tell you how you know how pleasing that is for us. We've not only accomplished our business plan, but we've been able to really come down here and be a part of the excitement that's become in Lansing. And if you didn't recognize it two years ago, I mean, can you you can't even imagine what this place is going to be in another five years.